in the AMG GT because Tom is quite interested in the AMG GT, which has left me to do nothing. What's up guys, welcome to an Eskimo edition of Idiots Go Car Shopping. This is quite spontaneous and I'm not entirely sure how many idiots are going to be there but knowing that the fact that myself and Tom in the blue BMW M3 are going to be there is more than enough that anyone needs. So we're heading down to Mercedes-Benz World which is basically a world just full of Mercedes-Benz. They've got AMG there, they've got a fantastic museum, they've got simulators, they've got loads of cool stuff, including a track which spells recipe for disaster. I'm en route now in the R8, and we're just gonna have some fun and try not to waste anyone's time today. <laughs> so I was just about to film, I've just seen an R8. We're only two minutes away now from Mercedes-Benz World in Brooklyn. And um, I might as well say, I haven't seen Tom in about a month, not since Monaco. And I'm sure the first thing he's going to be really excited to see is a camera in his face, because we all know how awkward he is. And there it is. Mercedes-Benz World. If you haven't been here before, it's pretty damn cool if you like Mercedes. There's just loads of them. And there's a Concorde there as well. That's cool. I've only been here once. Actually twice, but the second time it was about six o'clock in the morning. So let's try and find Tom's blue BMW M3 and find out what the crack is. We've got the Drivers Academy, we've got the racetrack here, you can see cars going past. There's like a shooting brake. C63 here. The Mercedes bus. And there's a hotel over there and the Mercedes-Benz world is here. I've been out on the track in a C63, which is quite fun. And I wonder whether we're gonna be going out on the track today. Is that a Mercedes? It smells of bacon. I think we've come at the right time. I'm looking for his blue car, there it is. <laughs> He was looking down at his phone <laughs> he didn't know where that was coming from. How did you get in this place? Oh crap. I thought it was there. It's not. What a start. I can't even get in the car park. There he is. How'd you get in? How'd you get in? I get in. Oh, okay. Now, I'll show you it's um, pain in the arse. How are we? Good, how are you? Excellent. Haven't uh, seen you in a while. Uh, Isn't it the best Excellent. Best intro to not seeing me in a month is having a camera in your face? Excellent, yeah, <laughs> and McDonald's as well. We've made it into the car park thanks to TG's directions and he's come with a Nissan GTR and a Carrera 4S that he claims have nothing to do with him. I prefer the GTR to yours, I think. Just, just gonna say. Definitely much better than So you buying car. a car today or what? Probably not. Welcome to Mercedes-Benz World, and there's the front door, and we're walking straight past it. Because I've managed to spot an AMG GT, and I think this is going to be a hot, hot topic debate on my YouTube video, because you like it. I like it a lot. And I don't. Might be just a hot topic of loads of people having a go at me. We've made it, and there's no music playing. Normally in car dealers, there's music, and it's very difficult to film inside. COK GTR. We're just going up a really long escalator. So we've already been told off for filming. I wonder how they're going to feel about us filming inside. I can I love it. Yeah. Really enjoy it. Formula One car broken down people that look like the Sims now. We're actually quite high. Oh, this is scary. This is, this is the drifting circle, I assume, down here. Yeah. How sideways that shooting brake's getting. Oh, oh. 
Doing well. Better than what I'd do. It's like you on the first Idiots Co car shopping. Yeah, so that's deliberate, mine wasn't. <laughs> Sideways onto the other side of the road. I was out of control. <laughs> Got a few SLSs down there. Got lots of other people filming. They're doing their own Idiots Go car shopping. <laughs> <laughs> So we've been in Mercedes-Benz now for approximately 20 minutes or so. Tom is talking to the saleswoman who is uh, trying to convince him to buy a G-Wagon. And Tom thinks it's a good idea to try and get the, ha the hashtag TGE Wagon trending. Anyway, they've now gone out in the AMG GT because Tom is quite interested in the AMG GT, which has left me to do nothing. And I think it's quite windy, so I'm gonna put my hand over this microphone bit here. But anyway, they're going out in the MG GT, there's not enough space for me. Um, I've been offered to drive it, and then I told them about how old I was, and they're like, yeah, you can't drive it. So, um, once again, my age plays in a huge advantage of the fact that these videos aren't as good as they could be if I was driving an AMG GT. So I'm going to hang around by my car and Tom's car and just film him drive out. in the passenger seat, he's not even driving. Oh well, time to sit in my car and listen to music. Fun Saturday. I've had to crack open a window, I was losing oxygen. I was gonna, I was suffocating in my own car like I did way back, maybe like, nine, ten months ago. Nearly suffocated in my car because I was so bad on camera I couldn't string a sentence together and uh, nearly passed out. Lack of oxygen, locked myself in the car. Bad move. Um, so, I'm being sensible, giving myself some fresh air. And this is my view. Which one would you prefer? Twin turbo V6, naturally aspirated V8. Or the Porsche, which I don't know what it's got in it. Right hand drive. For the classic lovers. The sorts of cars that I can afford. Yes. I don't even know whether these are cool or not. Look like the sort of things you see in war films. Probably are. The electric SLS and blue chrome. I am so bored. <laughs> I'm just walking around outside, inside. <laughs> That's so annoying. I don't even know what's going on anymore. So I've created a little photo shoot, German, Japan, German, at Mercedes-Benz World. Tom is still out on his test drive. Um, however, I have to head into central London for one o'clock. It's an hour away. It's now midday, which means I have to leave. So I'm going to be ending this vlog with no one bought a car with no surprise there whatsoever, but I have no idea whether Tom's gonna buy an AMG GT in the next hour or so when he gets back or not. Whether the saleswoman is uh, gonna lure him in or not, I'm not entirely convinced, but he seems to be quite fixated on TGE wagon, which, um, do you reckon that's a, a good upgrade on the M3? Let me know your thoughts in the comment, and um, let me know what you think. What car should Tom upgrade to next, the G-Wagon, I don't think he's looking at the GTR. 
the G-Wagon, something like an RS6, RS7. Let me know your thoughts and um, there will be a proper Idiots Go Car Shopping very, very soon. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Make sure you subscribe. About to jump in my car and head into London now, so uh, I'll see you soon.